hello and welcome to my youtube channel canvas in this video we are going to discuss iupac nomenclature of ethers these are the basic rules first is regarding parent chain an ether molecule can be represented like as there are two r groups the r group with the longer carbon chain is treated as parent chain Second is alkoxy group. The alkoxy group with the shorter carbon chain is treated as a substituent. Numbering of parent chain. Numbering rule is followed as in the case of substituted alkanes. There is no priority for alkoxy group while numbering. IPSC name. Ethers are named as alkoxy alkane. Now let's go through examples. We will start with simplest ether CH3OCH3. In this molecule, both the groups attached to the oxygen have the same number of carbon atoms. So one will be considered as a parent chain which is methane and other will be part of alkoxy group which is methoxy. Thus the IUPAC name will be methoxy methane. Next example is CH3 O CH2 CH3. Here the two groups attached to the oxygen atom have different number of carbons. So the two carbon group having greater number of carbon atoms will be parent chain called ethane while the CH3 will be the part of alkoxy group called methoxy. Thus the IUPAC name of this molecule will be methoxy ethane. Third molecule is ethyl propyl ether. In this molecule the three carbon alkyl chain will be the part of parent chain called propane while the ethoxy group will act as a substituent. While naming this molecule we need to mention the position of ethoxy group on the parent chain. For that we will have to do numbering of parent chain. Numbering will start from the carbon attached to oxygen Thus, it will be 1, 2 and 3 like this. We can see that the position of ethoxy group is 1. So, the IUPC name of this molecule will be 1-ethoxypropane. Another example. In this molecule, both the groups attached to the oxygen atom have the same number of carbons. In this case, the group with greater number of substituent is treated as parent chain. So the parent chain will be ethane. This ethoxy group will act as a substituent. Since chloro comes before ethoxy in alphabetical order. So parent chain will be numbered as 1 and 2. So the IPAC name will be 1-chloro-2-ethoxyethane. Few more examples. Compound A. Here, the parent chain is this carbon chain called hexane. It will be numbered as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 like this. Substituents. There are three substituents a chloro at C1, a methyl at C3 and a methoxy at C5. They will be written in alphabetical order as 1-chloro-5-methoxy-3-methyl. Thus the IUPAC name of this molecule will be 1-chloro-5-methoxy-3-methylhexane. Compound B. In this molecule also, the parent chain is this 6-carbon chain called hexane. Numbering will be 1, 2, 3, 
4, 5 and 6 like this. Substituents. There are 4 substituents. A 2 chloroethoxy at C1, 2 methyl groups at C2 and an ethyl group at C4. So, they will be written in alphabetical order as 1, 2 chloroethoxy, 4 ethyl, 2, 2 dimethyl. Thus, the IUPAC name of this molecule will be 1, 2 chloroethoxy, 4 ethyl, 2, 2 dimethyl hexane. In ethers with one cyclic R group and other acyclic R group, irrespective of number of carbons in the ring, cyclic R group is treated as parent hydrocarbon. For example, the IPAC name of C, D, E and F respectively are methoxy cyclohexane, ethoxy cyclopropane, propoxy cyclopropane and butoxy cyclopropane. In aryl cycloalkyl or aryl cycloalkynyl ethers, ring having greater number of carbon atoms is the parent chain. If both the rings have the same number of carbon atoms, then aromatic ring is the parent ring. For example, compound G. In this molecule, benzene ring with greater number of carbon atoms in the ring is the parent ring, while cyclopentoxy group will act as a substituent. So, the IUPAC name of this molecule will be cyclopentoxy benzene, compound H. In this, cycloheptyl group with greater number of carbon will act as parent ring while phenoxy group will act as a substituent. So, the IUPAC name will be phenoxy cycloheptane. In compound I, both the rings have the same number of carbons. So, in this case, the aromatic ring will act as parent ring and cyclohexyloxy group will act as a substituent. So, the IUPAC name of this molecule will be cyclohexyloxy benzene. Now, we will discuss IUPAC naming of cyclic ethers. Cyclic ethers are named as oxacycloalkane or oxacycloalkene depending upon whether it is having saturated or unsaturated ring. Numbering starts from the oxygen atom. So, by default, position of oxygen is 1. Because of this, it is not necessary to mention the position of oxygen in IUPAC name. If there are more than one oxygen atoms in the ring, then position and number of oxygen atoms are also mentioned in IUPAC name. For example, compound J with six membered ring and one oxygen atom is called oxacyclohexane. Compound K. In this case, we have to num we have to do numbering because there is a methyl substituent. As we know, the numbering starts from the oxygen atom and then continues in the direction having uh, giving lowest number to the substituted carbon. So, the numbering will be anti-clockwise as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Here, we can see that the position of methyl is 2. So, the IUPAC name of this molecule will be 2-methyl-oxacyclohexane. Compound L. This molecule has 6 saturated atoms in the ring, 2 oxygen atoms at position 1 and 4. So, it will be named as 1,4-dioxacyclohexane. 
that's all in this video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon if you like this video thank you very much for watching this video